So welcome back uh, to the course Privacy and Security in Online Social Media. Uh, so this is week 7. Uh, so I hope uh, you got a chance to look at the content in uh, week 6 uh, where we uh, looked at link farming, spam you know, in Twitter and uh, some kind of work uh, which was able to find out what the link farmers are, what is the characteristics of link farmers are. So today we will continue, uh, this week we will continue a little bit about uh, the same topic, we will finish it. Uh, and then I'll move on to something else. Uh, so if you remember uh, last week, uh, I showed you about uh, what is link farming and uh, some data about uh, link farming. So here is a graph uh, which has on the x-axis spam follower node rank, which is what is the probability that uh, spam followers are the accounts which actually follow spam. If you remember a graph that I showed you, A, B, C, D, E, F, where there was something as spam follower and then something that was uh, spam following. So x axis is spam follower node rank, which is the rank of the account which is being a spam follower. And then on the y axis is fraction reciprocated in links, which is I think we briefly mentioned this uh, last week also, the probability of you following me when I actually follow you, reciprocity so to say. If I follow you, what is the probability that you will follow me back? Okay. That's what is put on the y-axis. So fraction of reciprocated in links from spammers versus spam follower node ranks. That is, if you look at the top 100,000 spam follower accounts, for 60% of all links acquired by the spammers, right? So what does this mean? This means top 100,000 spam follower accounts for 60% of all links acquired by the spammers. So if if there were uh, links, if there were 100 links that were created for the spammers, 60% of them are coming from the spam followers, which is an account which actually follows back the spammers. Top spam followers tend to reciprocate all links established to them by spammers. So if you look at this graph, the way to read this graph is on the x-axis it's the log scale which is 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, um, 100,000 right, and a million. right? So that's how it is written on the x-axis. Y-axis is the probability of you following me back if I follow. So if you look at the first, let's take, let's look at the first uh, uh, value which is 1 or 1 to 10. So here the probability is almost close to 1 which is the top ranked spam followers which is the accounts which are having the chances of following you back is very high. Right? If you arrange the spam followers in the node rank which is the number of followers that they may have is actually very high. Right. So what does this mean? This basically means that the, the probability of a spam follower following a spammer is very high. Right. Which is what spammers actually make use of. Which is if uh, there is a problem, if there is a chance that you will follow me back, the spammers will keep following uh, uh, people like uh, you. And, when, and there is a high chance that you will follow me back and therefore spammers increase their in links which means on the topic uh, that we discussed about link farming which means that my node rank is increasing which is a spammers node rank is increasing which is what they want because of that their uh, content will show up on a search their content becomes more popular and therefore they probably benefit from it I hope that connects the dots So I'm going to use the same uh, uh, data to actually emphasize on what is the behavior of these spammers and what the link farmers do, what are the spam uh, followers doing. So let's look at another graph. This graph is showing, showing the probability of response which is in terms of just responding to a request with the in degree, in degrees number of links that they have. Okay? So this is showing you for probability of response versus in degree for all users targeted by spammers. If there are many 10.7 uh, uh, 
uh, 10 to the power of 7 users are targeted by spammers, what is the probability that they are going to actually respond? Users with low in degree do not reciprocate to link from spam spammers. If you look at the graph, let's take less than 100, less than 1000, which is if I have followers which are less than 1000, there is very less probability that I will actually follow the spammer back. Let's look at in the graph again. 10 to the power of 3, let's look at the value at 10 to the power of 3. The probability of that users even 10, 10 100 to 1000 if you see, the probability of somebody following back the spammer is actually about 40%, 50%, around 60%. Right? If you look at the later of the uh, part of the graph on the x-axis and the y-axis which is about 0.7, Responsiveness increases with number of followers, right? In degree is the number of followers. As the followers increase, the chances of somebody following you back when you send a request is higher. Right? I hope that is sinking in. Again, let me re uh, iterate the point, which is on the x axis in this graph, we are seeing in degree, which is the number of followers. Y axis, the probability of response when a request is sent for following or when somebody follows you, chances of you following me back. Users with less in degree do not reciprocate to spammers, whereas users with larger in degree, which is larger number of followers, tend to follow back more. So what they did was, after looking at these two uh, things, which is the probability of somebody uh, following a spammer back is high, they actually looked at the top five link farmers and looked at the bios, what are the accounts. So here's a uh, sense of what these accounts are. Larry Wenz, internet affiliate, marketing, Judy Ray, Wasserman, artist, founder. So these are all the accounts which had the links to spammers. Top five link fam, uh, farmers according to the links to spammers according to the page rank. You remember page rank is nothing but the the links that you have to the out which which is the in degree and the out degree. That's what his page rank is. Chris Lotko interested in tech will follow back, and Paul Merriweather helping others. Let's talk soon. Aaron Lee, social media manager. So it just basically shows you what kind of users of the top five link farmers, which is creating these links to others and then making, getting others to follow you back. Internet, social media manager, uh, will follow back. These are the kind of accounts. If you look at the page rank, which is higher the links of how you are linked to others also, is Barack Obama, Obama 2012 campaign staff, Britney Spears, NPR politics, UK Prime Minister, Jeff Blue Airways. Right? So this is also showing that it is not just the real spammers or with malicious intention they actually do link farming. Even legitimate accounts, even more so popular accounts are actually part of the link farming ecosystem and they increase their followers. That's the kind of conclusion that they wanted to actually uh, uh, get, which is to look at the bio, the accounts of link farmers and have some understanding of what kind of users these are. Interestingly, top link farmers are not the spammers. They looked at top 100,000 link farmers at the, at the point of analysis of which of course 18,826 was suspended, Twitter, Twitter did something, Twitter uh, uh, figured that out these are actually uh, spammers, these are actually malicious accounts, Those, therefore they suspended it. 4,768 account were not found, which is that they probably deactivated the account, the account doesn't exist. Whereas 76% of the account of 100,000 link farmers, which is, how do they get this 100,000 link farmers? They drew the graph of node rank, they drew the graph of who are the, the most popular link farmers, and they got this 100,000 link farmers. And of this, 76% were still alive. Interestingly, of that, 235 were verified accounts. If you remember, verified accounts are the accounts which has a blue tick next to the account, and these are the accounts which 
are legitimate that is they know they show that they are the real people which is Amitabh Bachchan has a real account a verified account Obama has a verified account which means they are the real people who they say they are they manually checked 100 random users of the 235 by volunteers of course they got some uh, user volunteers to verify whether uh, to look at these 100 random users and say something about the users they found that 86 were real accounts they actually got more than one people to look at it therefore if more than one person says that it's a real account there's a high probability that it's a real account they actually found that of 86 86 real users people were like had the account as a business, internet marketing, entrepreneurship, money and social media. These are the topics that the 86 real accounts were talking about. It just gives you a sense of, it also connects very well to the uh, Twitter account bios that we saw in this slide, which is top five link farmers. Okay. So this shows that the top link farmers are not really the ones who are doing spamming in the real world but they could be actually they are actually real accounts they are actually verified accounts let's let's delve a little bit more into node degree distribution which is how the in degree followers are for top hundred thousand link farmers for spammers and for random sample well what is the goal here the goal here is to try and compare the 100,000 link farmers that they found with spammers, which are real spammers, the accounts that uh, were gotten, and a random sample of users. If they compare these three types of users, the observations can be very helpful to understand what is the property of this 100,000 uh, link farmers. So if you look at this graph, this graph basically shows that top link farmers have very high in degree compared to spammers and the random sample. So let's go through again the graph uh, uh, in detail. The x-axis is in degree which is again on the log scale which is 10 to the power of 1 to 10 to the power of 7. That's the number of followers. Cumulative distribution frequency CDF is, the, uh, is on the y-axis. The way to look at this is that the more the value on the red graph, red line is, which is if you look at the thousand uh, users, th users which has thousand followers, which is in degree, which is very high, if you look at that, the CDF is about 0.1. So top link farmers, which is the if you have arranged the in degree in a particular order, top link farmers have very high in degree compared to spammers which is the graph on the uh, for the spammers and the random sample looks very different and also the cdfs are actually very low within the in degree which is 10 to the power of 2 10 to the power of 3. top link farmers are very high in degree compared to spammers and random sample interestingly they also found that for the out degree also that the, the graph looks very similar which is the number of followings that i have Right. Top link farmers have very high out degree compared to the spammers and random sample. It's slightly very different from uh, um, slightly different from the uh, in degree graph, but still, again, the hundred thousand link farmers graph is much higher in terms of out degree compared to the spammers and the uh, random sample. They also did an interesting analysis on finding the ratio between in degree and the out degree. This ratio is actually very useful is because if you look at really uh, large uh, followers account like Amitabh Bachchan or Obama, the number of accounts that follows them will be very high versus the number of followings that they have is actually very low. That's one parameter, one way to look at the legitimate accounts. If you look at again legitimate account like uh, mine, probably the number of followers and the number of followers followings are actually very close to each other right so this is what they wanted to find out which is if you find the ratio of in versus out how is this what is the what is the pattern on the users most of the top link farmers have a ratio near to one so if you look at the graph 10 to the power of zero is one and interestingly the value for the top link farmers why is the the ratio between followers and followings is equal to 1. 
which is the pattern that I was telling you for real users like mine, right? So therefore, link farmers also have the similar behavior. So the, the other point to take away from it, so given all this, it's going to be hard to find out who's a link farmer. That's the kind of intuition that is built behind all this analysis. Again, if you see this graph, x-axis is, so 10 to the power of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 is where the uh, in degree versus out degree, where the out is much larger than the n, would be the ones that are less than 1. Right? So you can clearly see that the top link farmers, which is the red color, has a ratio of 1. Whereas if you look at the spammers in the random sample, they are not really 1. There is some difference with the examples that I took like Amitabh, Bachchan, Obama and myself. So I hope that makes uh, sense in terms of what the distribution is, uh, in degree, out degree distribution, what is the ratio of in degree versus out degree. It gives you a sense. Go through the uh, slides, go through the materials and if there's any um, confusion or if any more clarifications needed, feel free to post it on forum. I'll be actually happy to help uh, in understanding these content also. So now if you look at the bio of top 100,000 link farmers and random sample, again, just to get a comparison uh, of what, what are the people, uh, what are the accounts which are actually uh, link farmers and what are the accounts which are random sample talking about. The left one is actually link farmers, the right one is actually random sample. You can clearly see here that the left one is talking more about market, online, internet, social, love, which probably is in the random sample also, life, music, live, love, right? So the one, some conclusions that they drew from uh, this analysis is that on the left, you see LF, you can see that promoting their own business or content or tens trends in a domain links to legitimate external sources of course right they're basically talking about some business talking about some links that are outside Twitter outside uh, uh, the network that they are promoting this content but as right don't tweet to external sources which is there's not a lot of links to the other sources Again, this could be a pattern that this research found, but the pattern, if, if we were to study this today, it may be very different also. I'm kind of looking at some of these classical work which looks at uh, some of the questions that we, we should be asking in privacy and security and online social media topic. Uh, so the final conclusion for this part of the work is, this part of uh, the course lecture is, characteristics of link farmers we found, right, the in degree versus out degree ratio is actually pretty high. The in degree is very high compared to spammers and random sample. The out degree is also very high. The probability of uh, uh, spam followers is also very high in terms of actually the request to send to them. Or if I follow you, there's a high probability that you'll follow me if you're a spam follower. Surprisingly legitimate, popular, and highly active users such as bloggers and experts mostly likely engage in link farming. We saw accounts like Britney Spears, Obama, all of these accounts actually have link farming behavior. So the problem is that this increases the social capital and the influence, right? Because if the link farming, if, if the concept of, I'll go back to the first uh, slide again of this topic, if there is a high probability of, if there are chances that your, your social reputation, if the links between the users are higher, your social reputation side, the today social reputation influence is all measured by number of followers you have and the kind of propagation of the content that you have. And therefore, link farming can be pretty uh, effective in terms of increasing your social capital and influence. With that, I will actually stop this particular uh, part of the uh, lecture, which is week 7.1.